Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm talking about a palette and a brand that I've been so excited for. It's been, like, unbelievable. I literally... So the brand is called Makeup a Murderer, and it's all, like, crime scene and forensics related products. And they just came out with their first eyeshadow palette. And I got it! This is the Makeup a Murderer Crime Scene Trace Evidence Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1 paint chips so this is the palette right here it is so cute i'm dying for the packaging and there's a huge mirror on the inside and these are all of our shades so i was debating what to do for my first look at this this literally came in the mail yesterday i did a whole like instagram story about it opening it up looking at everything i kept some of the packaging and by some i mean most of the packaging because it's so cute i had to keep it Ah, I'm just so excited. So I got this and I also got the eyeshadow like tape. So they have crime scene, actual crime scene tape you can use to like tape off your eyes to do a more dramatic look. I'm not doing that today. I'm going to do that definitely later on when I do some more dramatic looks because when I use tape, I like to use tape before I do my foundation and everything. And right now my whole face is done with the exception of my lips and my eyes because I have no idea what's going on in my eyes yet. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really drawn towards either using the yellow, orange, and the red together or using the yellow, green, and the blue together just for the first time. You know what? I'm going to do the warm colors. So I'm going to use the yellow, the orange and the red which are the shades kitchen den and minivan can i say i love the fact like this actually made me chuckle out loud when i first opened this all the shades are named after like rooms in a house or places in a house and then the red shade is just minivan <laughs> Before I jump into the look, let me go ahead and read you the cool fun fact on the back of the palette and show you swatches of all of these shades. Makeup a murderer fun fact. As a type of trace evidence, paint chips can be a powerful tool in forensic science. This type of trace evidence can be used to definitively link a suspect to a crime scene. Other types of trace evidence includes glass fragments, hair, skin cells, fibers, and dirt. Until the trace evidence can be forensically examined, it is carefully preserved so that it remains unaltered while it is transferred from the crime scene to the laboratory. If you're a bit confused as to why I'm like really excited about this, I mentioned, I forgot what video I mentioned it in, but I was a CJ major in college. I was taking forensic courses. I was working in a forensic anthropology lab in a museum. I was into this <laughs> and really the reason I stopped is because financial aid messed up and I couldn't afford to keep going to school and I had to join the working world which is how I ended up here today but I still have a special place in my heart for all things forensic all things crime scene related and the fact that there is a whole makeup brand now dedicated to this just it warms my little heart and I want to do everything I can to support this brand so I really wanted to get the eyeshadow palette first but they do have a lot of other products already they've got lashes they have loose pigments they have I think a liner uh so they're They've got a lot of products, so this is the first one I wanted to buy, but I'm definitely going to go back and purchase some more products as time goes on. So let's see. I'm going to jump in first with the shade Kitchen, which is the bright yellow shade. Okay, so not as bright on the eye as I thought it would be, but let's see. We can build this up. I, I'm used to tapping off the excess, but I don't think you really need to do that with these shades. I think you really need to like press it in and build this up. Now that we have our jaundice layer down, <laughs> I'm going to jump in with the orange shade, which is the shade Den. And I'm taking another brush for this. These all seem to be pressed pretty hard. Like I'm not getting too much kick up. So let's see, I'm gonna take the orange shade. I'm going for like a, a crime scene sunset look here. I'm gonna try and bring this up almost as high as the yellow. So they do blend nicely together. I do like this eye a lot more. So I feel like I brought this eye, the orange, I brought a little bit too high. So I'm gonna go back in with the yellow and just kind of add the yellow back up towards the top and blend it out a little bit more. So I am seeing just a little bit of fallout like right in the very corner. So I'm gonna see if I can just brush that away. Yeah, and it came right off, cool. I hate it when like fallout stains cause then like, oh, that's annoying. So I'm gonna go in with the red shade minivan and really just keep that to 
like the very outer corner. So I'm gonna see if I can blend this in and just use it just a little bit. It's showing up very pigmented on the brush, so I'm going to tap it out and use it right here. This is looking really pretty so far. Okay, so now that I think I've placed enough pigment down, I'm cleaning the brush I used for the yellow in my color switch just to make sure there's no more product left on here and i'm going to use this clean brush to just kind of blend out the red a little bit more because i don't want to add any more red i think we've got a nice color story right here i'm pretty impressed so far they're blending out nicely but they're not like getting muddy or like canceling each other out i don't think i mentioned this before so this is an all matte palette so i think for today i'm gonna keep it matte I do have like an urge to like grab one of my new Stila Glitter and Glows, but for today I just want to use this palette so we're going to keep it matte. I do want to try and use this matte black shade to add just like a little bit of a liner towards the outer third of my lash line. So I'm going to grab just like a flat, actually no, I'm going to do a line, an angled liner brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the black and line just like this outer third of my lash line. Oh, it looks nice. Okay. I'm trying to add like a little bit of definition because I don't want to go into the liquid liner over this. So let's see. Just a little bit. Now for my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to go in with like the orange and the yellow. So to balance it out, I think I am going to add just a little bit of the red shade here in like the very outer corner, blend that out, and then I'm going to go in with mascara and pick a lipstick out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I got my lipstick on. I finished the eye look. I just threw on some mascara. When I'm testing an eyeshadow palette, I don't like to throw on like heavy liner or lashes or like, because nothing bugs me more than seeing like a first impression or a review of a palette where someone throws on thick liner and lun lashes and you can barely see the eyeshadows. But this turned out so pretty. I'm actually really impressed with how nice everything looks. This, again, is just my first impression, so I will let you know in the comments or in the description box how this wore throughout the day, and I will keep testing this palette out. I did mention before that I was thinking of doing more palette reviews on my Instagram, and I'm going to be doing that for other palettes, but for this brand as a whole, I think I'm going to keep testing this out and buy some more products from them and do a follow-up video testing out a bunch of other products from them because I was so excited for this brand. Like, I cannot even say and so far i'm very happy and i'm pretty impressed if you've heard of this brand if you've bought anything from them please let me know in the comments down below and if you have not here is their instagram page and i'll link their website down below it is such a cute brand i love it they're very active on instagram so make sure you follow them there ah. mm, 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 mm. Mm. All right, so that's everything for this first impression. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.